Was wäre Europa ohne seine Musik? Und was wäre diese Musik ohne Mozart? Große, aber berechtigte Fragen, 250 Jahre nachdem Leopold M. mit seinen zwei Wunderkindern von einem europäischen Hof zum nächsten tingelte. Wir diskutieren sie unter anderem mit dem Multitalent Ian Bostridge. Ian Bostridge, weltbekannter und anerkannter Tenor, sowohl im Opern- als auch Liedrepertoire zu Hause, als Schriftsteller erfolgreich, als Pädagoge tätig, promovierter Historiker und nicht zuletzt gebürtiger Londoner. Ich denke, eine der schönen Dinge über London und die anderen Parks ist, dass ich quite a lot because in in the middle of the 18th century um the Vauxhall Pleasure, Gar Pleasure Gardens was a place for people to gather for a nice day out or a nice evening out there were criminals here there were prostitutes here but there was also high society here so i think in the 18th century though the what we call the enlightenment was also about politeness it was about talking politely to each other and, and doing civilized things um, and something we could probably do with now, because at the moment Twitter and all the social media are sort of dissolving all that, I think, and creating uh, discord and violent opinions. And so you end up, in a way, through the lack of conversational discipline. So they wanted to create in Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens this, this place where people could mingle and be civilized. Leopold kommt aus dem Staunen nicht mehr heraus. Nirgends sind der Adel und der gemeine Mann so vereinigt wie hier. In den Vauxhall Gardens wird gespeist, gefeiert und den Superstars der Szene beim Musizieren zugehört. Das Besondere, es vermischen sich die Königsfamilie, Adel und Bürger. Ein Garten als Symbol für früh gelebte Demokratie. Once you get democracy in the welfare state, you start getting electorates feeling we do not want people from outside who do not contribute to our system coming and using it. So it becomes much more inward looking in that sense and that's why i think there's a lot of tension over the relationship between the uk when it was in the european union because the 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 traditional democratic sort of roots for achieving legitimacy and consent are not really there it's a very it's a very uh, mixed chimerical sort of system at the moment Damals wie heute war Europa ein heiß umstrittenes Konstrukt. Kollektive Identität und die aktuellen Kernfragen wie Inhalt, Grenzen und politische Konstitution wurden schon vor 200 Jahren mit großer Dringlichkeit formuliert. Besonders ungewiss ebenfalls die Antwort auf die Frage, quo vadis Europa? Um, I think it was a very it was a commercial society. Uh, it was probably the first it may well have been the first political society maybe in history at all, where it, it, we developed this idea that the purpose of government was to enable commercial society to operate, um, which is something we now live with the disbenefits of. But at the time, it was a very opening thing. In der Tat stößt der Manager in Leopold hier auf sein Paradies. Das Musikbusiness ist bereits professionalisiert. Es gibt die Möglichkeit, Konzerte auf eigene Rechnung mit freiem Verkauf von Eintrittskarten zu veranstalten und es gibt eine Menge zahlungskräftiger Londoner. Mozarts Chance auf Ruhm und eine Menge Kohle. I love Mozart. I really love I'm I'm just saying I'm probably not a Mozart performer. If I do have a problem with Mozart, it's only that in the operas, the tenors are not conceived of in a particularly dramatic way, you know, they're not Don Giovanni. It's really difficult to keep that, to keep the balance between drama and and the instrumental right. And I think there's a sort of fantasy that there can be singing that's singing that's natural, uh, that's singing like the birds. And singing is always cultivated and cultured and in a sense always mannered. It's all artistic. <laughs>
Allein diese Art, die wir hier erfahren, übertrifft all die anderen, notiert Leopold begeistert über ihren Aufenthalt in London. Schnell hergestellter Kontakt mit Königs und den Berühmtheiten der Musikszene generieren Anerkennung und viel Geld. Für Wolfgang aber der wichtigste Punkt, er beginnt hier, sich frei zu komponieren und schreibt seine ersten wichtigen Werke. One of the things you really have to do as a musician is keep being interested and so you have to find ways of stimulating your engagement and for me that's finding things out though it's, it's it varies sometimes i find out an enormous amount about the piece i'm singing and sometimes i just sing it and i don't bother you have to let life into your performance and everybody is experiencing i don't know love disappointment bitterness like urgent communication and that has to come from your life experience for me it has to be about intense emotion um and there are all that there, but there are lots of jokes about tennis like the um that's the one where the baritone comes home to find his wife in bed with the tenor and he says what do you think you're doing and the tenor says well next tuesday i'm doing a solo and then friday i'm singing la boheme and like it's all that's in his head is his diary 